Hello friends, welcome to my blog. This is September. September is one of my favorite months, so I wanted to start by changing the energy of my study. I have moved things from place, thrown away some others, and even I have included a little bed to make my studio even more special and cozy. I know that I will enjoy this beautiful space to the fullest and I hope to create incredible art full of love and magic. By the way, you will notice that my voice will be changing through the video, it's because I'm still recovering from COVID. Today is a new day and I take advantage of the energy that I have to organize my work. Every morning I wake up and I think about how my body is feeling, <coughs> how much progress it has made and how much energy I can have for today. I started to prepare Etsy orders, some guitar picks, earrings and an old painting that is going to a new home. jar with flowers. This is a painting that I did at the end of spring. I remember that I really wanted to paint with lines and I wanted to experiment with the lines that the brush let on the old painting. This is one of my favorite techniques. I did some works in this style. I ran out of jelly, so I went back to make another small portion. One of the things that I miss the most is the smell and taste. I have not been able to smell my freshly washed sheets or my lavender cream for six days. The same thing happens with the taste. Eating has lost meaning, but at the same time, I appreciate this superpower. Yes, being able to smell or to taste, it's a superpower. Even when I can't smell or taste the berries, I wanted to make a sour jelly. This is for my granola and pancakes. For now, I can only identify things as sweet, salty or sour, but I can tell exactly what I am tasting. This afternoon, I feel like I didn't want to do anything. I just went from bed to the living room, and from the living room to bed. While time passed, I just thought that I was hoping to feel good, so I could paint. I thought about the landscapes that are waiting for me, about the oil paintings and the paper that I was going to use. I thought about this canvas that I have to deliver next Friday and when will be the day that I will finally paint. 
From the living room, I saw the afternoon light in my studio, and I just got up and went for my acrylics and brushes. Without knowing exactly what to paint, I first chose the color. This day I was wearing pink, so I chose pink colors to paint. We continue to work on botanical subjects for the Mandala Collective, so my first impulse was to paint a giant flower. I wanted something big but simple, without great attention to details. Small pink, red, orange and yellow strokes to shape the center and then petals in a softer tone. Again, I felt that I couldn't stop, that this moment was perfect, that each stroke was perfect, and that I was finally reconnecting with creativity. Thanks God I haven't lost my sense of sight. Making lines is one of my favorite ways to paint. It's amazing how lines and color can bring so much vibrancy and composition to a painting. Working over these backgrounds has been amazing. Each canvas of the collective is a new challenge and also an invitation to play creatively. Last night, someone from Chicago brought my pieces illustration. Pieces is part of a series of illustrations about the zodiacs. Pieces is one of my favorite illustrations because of the intensity of the colors and also because the model has a look that I like very much. This has been one of the portraits that I have liked to paint. It also has a collage. As you can see, the betta fish and the sea plants are clippings that I have added to create this underwater composition. Now that the original piece has been sold, I will add some prints to my Etsy store. By the way, yesterday I forgot to print certificates of authenticity, so I will send one of them apart. I will use a cute stamp with red flowers that I got from the post office. Yesterday I tried to sing, my voice still sounds different and I wanted to see how it felt. It was a bit difficult but I had a lot of fun doing bowling.
And now, back to work. These days, I have been making quite a few guitar picks. They have moss, pine, cedar, and these ones are almost ready to go. I like to see the moss inside of the peaks. I can spend a few minutes just by looking. It's like if I were a part of a tiny world, a forest. For me, Autumn begins with a change of light. It feels warmer and more illuminated. During the afternoon is when I feel more inspired to paint, and that reminds me of the autumns I spent in the basement, painting in my old studio in Des Moines. The light makes me feel wrapped in warmth as is my spirit wanted to stay there in that feeling. Painting and connecting with that light is a state of enlightenment, and so everything connects. Sometimes I feel anxious when starting, because I have the feeling that once I start, I don't want to stop. But at the same time, I enjoy drinking the moment in small portions. Finally, I have time to paint something that I already wanted. I have been waiting for months to paint a landscape of the sky. So I prepare my brushes, my paper, and that's it. I have my gloves ready. I never thought that painting sky would be something so relaxing, but at the same time it's difficult by blending the colors and get the right positions of the clouds or the light. And now, starting the weekend with a delicious breakfast. I know it tastes delicious because I know the flavor, but I still can't identify it. I still can't perceive the smell or taste. Remember the jam that I made? I like this marmalade with goat cheese on my almond pancakes. During the night, I was thinking that I was not convinced with the painting that I was doing. I felt that something was missing, and suddenly I realized that I was not using the paper that I wanted to paint on. So I started again. This time, I use a paper that imitates the texture of linen. And this is the paper that I wanted to use for this. Previously, I used a cotton paper that has a different and softer texture. While I was painting, 
I was in conflict by not knowing if I would be a good idea to paint everything smooth with the brush or put some texture with the spatula. After doing some texture tests, I prefer it to leave it simple and smooth. Once I remove the masking tape, I could see the difference in the finish. Now I had the most vivid sensation of seeing a sunset. Like seeing a sunset through a window, and suddenly it made more sense. I'm now preparing my setup for my online class. I have a new student from Boston. This little pig is ready to go. This is my first pig that I paint with oils. It was very fun, I like especially the nose. Yesterday I went to Maria's house, I took two canvases, and today I have started a new one for Mandela. First I thought about what kind of flower I wanted, and as I today dressed it in yellow, I thought of putting a yellow flower, but at the same time I didn't want to repeat the color of the sunflower. Another color that I dress today is gray, but I didn't want to paint gray flowers, that's so sad. I thought it will combine with the purple background, so the closest color will be white. White is a good color for Monday, so a white flower with a few touches of other colors to make it stand out. I had placed the flower at the top, so I will add part of the design to the bottom to create a connection. Also, I think another artist could paint the canvas and I'm going to leave some space. Hola, happy Monday, ya estoy pintando desde muy temprano porque ayer me dieron este canvas para pintar, así que bueno, lo que he pintado, mi parte es esta parte de aquí, esta florecita blanca con sus hojas, hojitas verdes, azules y voy a ponerle unos toques en amarillo, así que más al ratito les enseño cómo queda.
y listo amigos, ya terminé. Así que, bueno, mi parte ha sido hasta ahorita. Esta parte de aquí, la flor, las manchitas. Hice también esta parte del fondo para, bueno, quise hacer como una conexión entre esta esquina superior y la esquina inferior para que no se viera como tan suelto todo. Aquí esta parte, pues sí, se ve muy vacía, pero todavía hay más artistas que van a estar trabajando esta pieza, así que ya veremos cómo queda. And this is how it ends. It looks so pretty. I like the combination of greens and blues. Okay, no, wait. I just got a message from Nancy saying that I am the last artist doing this. So I will add a little bit more of leaves and composition with lines to the top corner to make it more balanced. And now that's it. This piece is finally done. And yes, this is another canvas to work with, but I will do that tomorrow. Finally, after 12 days with COVID, I'm COVID free. Buenos días, ya estoy de regreso con mis canvas de mandala. Así que, bueno, este canvas es de los que recogí el sábado. Así es como está, así es como, lo, como me lo entregaron. Vean esos detalles que tiene de equináceas, son las flores equináceas. Así que este está intervenido por un artista nada más. Hoy voy a estar trabajando pues mi parte, ¿no? Así que vamos a ver cómo queda. And this is another canvas to paint today. Today I'm going to paint a red flower. Can you see it through the red layer? I think it's going to give a nice effect. I think poppies are very pretty. And poppies will always remind me about Marrakech. I remember when I was in Marrakech, I saw poppies for first time. And I was so excited. I wanted to get closer. But our guide was walking into another place. So I just saw the poppies from afar. I have worked with the background. I made green lines and also some tiny red flowers. <clears throat> and now I will add some yellow to make the flower more alive At the end, I have used more color than I thought, but it looks pretty. And now I will work the background with color blue.
and this canvas is ready. Pues ya terminé mi parte y quiero mostrarles cómo se ve. Le hice esta flor roja con más popis y eh, estas manchas en azul, así que ahí está, listo. Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos a mi canal, mi nombre es Valeria Prieta, así que no te pierdas este video donde te explico paso a paso cómo hacer un boceto. Yes, I made a video in Spanish about how to make a sketch using the light from the window. And this is how I made the design for the cover. You can find this video on my videos in YouTube. And now another sunset landscape. I still need to decide if I want something smooth or something with more texture. Have you seen Bob Ross paintings or videos? I just love the way he works with the sky and the clouds. He makes everything look so easy. Blending the colors is very relaxing but it's not easy as it looks. And now I will stop for today. So happy today because I have sold this painting called Ophelia. I made this painting last year and it was inspired by the painter John Millet. I made a video about this painting, the process and the story behind this, and you can find it on my YouTube videos. I will miss this piece, but I'm so happy it's going to a new home. I am working with a watercolor portrait. This is an activity for Sundays for my online class. After many months, finally, we the Mandala Collective get together. We wanted to see all the paintings and also to talk about the next exhibition. We're planning to paint live art during November. So far we have a nice collection and we are going to be painting a few more. Because I want a healthy snack without sugar, I will experiment with cocoa, granola, and some flower seeds. The sunflower seeds are salty and roasted. And the granola, it tastes sweet but doesn't have sugar on it. Now all is melted and stick together. Now I will let it cool. Now they are ready and I have the perfect snack for the afternoon. This one has the sunflower seeds with a little bit of salt and also I have the others 
with granola. This granola is oat free. I have been playing with my boys and also with GarageBand, so I have made a few songs. Sometimes behind the scenes are like this. all together. Today, in my online class with Melanie, we are painting a still life inspired by Frida Kahlo. I'm painting a natal chart for baby Alita and the colors are purple, pink and blue. Hi friends, today I will start another mandala canvas and um, because today I'm dressed with orange and purple, I was looking for an orange and purple flower. So this is well my first time painting a paradise bird and I will show you the canvas that I will be working on. So this is the canvas and I will be painting the, the flower right here. As you can see, I have started and I can't wait to see this finish. Has been many years since I saw a paradise spirit flower. Almost forgot about this flower. I was looking on the internet about purple and orange flowers and this is how I, I saw this flower again so I thought it would be a good idea to paint this flower and because this painting is full of lines and swirls everywhere i decided to make the lines more loose without many details and this is um my brush stroke just going to everywhere So my flower is finished, um, <clears throat> sorry for my voice, um, 
I will do the, the outline also in black and some parts in white to give it more unity but I need to wait until it's dry I really like to do the outlines in black and white. I think it gives a lot of um, sense to the to the painting, and also more uh, more structure. And obviously, I love to put a um, visual texture with the, this kind of lines and dots around. It's part of the design, and this is one of the designs that I've been applying to each painting so you will see a lot of lines and dots too For my online classes we are working with a pet portrait on acrylics and also with a human portrait with watercolors. As you can see we are working with the skin layers and I absolutely love my Sunday classes. Today I wake up with the news that I have sold a pretzel and this pretzel was made with oil paintings. I made this last year to practice food painting with bright colors. Today I have retaken the sunset painting. Today I didn't feel with many energy to paint but I wanted to paint so I took my brushes and I'm glad I did because this gives me more motivation and also it helps me during the day I think I never have done many plans on a painting and it can be hard and overwhelming suddenly i feel like i am i don't know what i'm doing anymore but i have to keep painting till i reach what i want to see And finally, the sunset is ready. I bought a four package of canvases, so now I will switch to a canvas to paint the sunset. I told you. Once I start, it's hard to stop. I have spent 
these days of September doing music and also singing even when I'm still struggling with my voice. I like to play and record different instruments on my phone. As you can see, I record each one in different times. And then I like to invent or sing intuitively according the sounds. And when I put all together, voice and music, it sounds like this. And this day, the last day of the month, I'm painting a natal chart for a baby. This is how September ends.